The Cube presents UiPath Forward 5. Brought to you by UiPath. Hi everybody, we're back. David Vellante with David Nicholson. This is UiPath Forward 5 from Las Vegas. We're live. You know, the customers here, they're automating all the time-sucking work in the Cube. We're sucking all the information out of the experts <laughs> and the customers. Akbar Tobani is here. He's the Global Business Shared Services leading automation and AI at PepsiCo and Param Kalan is back as the chief, he's the chief product officer at UiPath, long time CUBE alum. Great to see you guys, thanks Thank for coming you. on. Great, Great to see you, well, Dave. So you guys, keynote today, you know, excited to have PepsiCo on. I'm not sure I've ever interviewed PepsiCo on theCUBE, but um, tell us about your yeah. role there. Absolutely, so I'm uh, part of a PepsiCo Global Business Shared Services team. I lead uh, automation and AI capabilities uh, GBS has, uh, uh, you, you know, we started GBS portfolio back uh, about three and a half years ago. And we have uh, six uh, hubs across PepsiCo. And uh, as, as a part of my role, uh, we deliver transformational capability across the PepsiCo. When did it all start? Uh, about three and a half years ago, 2019. So prior to the pandemic, yeah. you know, everybody right. says the pandemic was a catalyst for this, but, yeah. but it wasn't the catalyst, but maybe it sped it up a bit. Yeah, Pe PepsiCo journey started uh, with, if, if you look at the PepsiCo, you know, the automation journey, it started back in 2017. Mm -hmm. But the GBS portfolio took shape uh, back in 2019. So prior to that, uh, uh, you know, PepsiCo was definitely uh, you know, working on a lot of you know, the automation capabilities and automation product across you know, PepsiCo. But with the introduction of uh, PepsiCo Global Business Shared Services team, we are uh, you know, centralizing a lot of transformation capability uh, you know, across the functions that, that we support within the PepsiCo. And, and UiPath was kind of part of that journey all along, or was there uh, sort of other activities beforehand, or how did that No, no, absolutely. Starting from 2017, if I you know, remembered, uh, you know, with the vision of our, yeah. you know, some of our senior leadership uh, team and recognizing the value of you know, automation and, and, and the core you know, capability as a digital transformation at, at that time, uh, you know, we started with just like you know, anybody else, right? We started with you know, proof of concept, uh, showed some you know, early wins and the value back to the business, uh, start setting up some you know, business processes and capabilities, stood up the platform, build a complete you know, the ecosystem around uh, uh, that you know, platform in partnership with you know, UiPath team. And uh, you know, from there, here we are, five years. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very critical component to our digital transformation capability. Um, and, and yes, leverage across PepsiCo. Well, let's talk platform. Yeah. So you, you guys have made some announcements this week. You talk about the business automation platform. I remember our first forward was you know, RPA tool. Okay, yeah. and then you guys made acquisitions. I was there for that. So the process, process gold, and then people started to really expand it. And it's really come an amazingly long way in a short time. So what did you guys announce today? What did you talk about on stage, 2022.10? Tell us more about it. Absolutely, Dave. So you've seen the journey. You've been with us yeah. since the early days. Uh, you know, we were uh, in 2017 an RPA tool that could automate uh, a repetitive task that happened over and over again in the environment. And then three years ago, you were here when we announced uh, the automation platform. And we said it's not just about a task. It's about involving humans in bots to manage end-to-end -end processes. It's about discovering what automation opportunities exist. It's about using AI. Pepsi Co was actually the pioneer of using AI along with automation. Um, you know, we were on stage together with them in, in 2019. Um, and where we are now is we're essentially seeing people want to take the next step with automation. They're saying that it's no longer just an automation tool. It's the way we operate. It's the way we innovate in the organization. So they're really making sure that it becomes a part of their digital transformation journey that they're on. And they're saying that we can do the digital transformation by consolidating multiple ERP systems and CRM systems, and that'll take us seven years to do, or we can go with UiPath, and we can leverage the core, that we can leverage the GL system that exists today, we can leverage the inventory tracking system that exists today, and start to build processes on top of that that can adapt to what customers are trying to do in this digital age. Uh, and that's where you know, we've made announcements today, is, is really pivot the platform to be a business automation platform. And there's sort of three layers, you know, unique but you know, connected layers of the platform. The first one is Discover. And Discover is all about 
finding your processes, identifying the opportunities, making sure that you're managing the return on investment, what is the process, you know, how are you getting ROI on it. The second one is automate, and that is really where we're applying semantic automation to identify the digital building blocks of an enterprise, which is your data, your documents, your screens, and communication. Like putting all of that together and saying you can automate now processes, leveraging a lot of intelligence that exists in how business processes are done. And the last one is operate, which is if you're trying to execute a business process at scale, you're processing not just you know, a task a uh, thousand times, but you're fulfilling millions of transactions. You're, you know, you're looking at trillions of records to identify what processes you need a scalable enterprise platform that's able to ingest a lot of data, report on metrics, report on efficiency. So that's what we've announced today, is an automation platform that companies can use to put at the center of the digital transformation journey. So Akbar, the interesting thing about PepsiCo yeah. is you guys started in 2017, yeah. so kind of early, early yeah. on, yeah. and you've kind of been there with the progression Absolutely. of the platform. Absolutely. So my question to you is, and that it, it was, you know, yeah. we've seen the ebb from primarily on-prem, now it's cloud yeah. first. How disruptive or non-disruptive was that for you? Did you have to rip and replace? Did you have to sort of retool or migrate? What was that like? No, I mean, significant disruption. Right? I mean, I mean, as, as we started our journey back in 2017, just like what you know, Pram mentioned, right, with uh, simple rule-based, you know, the automation. And from then now to our journey, where our continue to you know infuse you know AI capability document understanding, conversational AI, right, as a part of our end-to-end -end portfolio. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I think the cloud is providing a fantastic opportunity for us to continue to scale, right, you know, scale at, at, at large, so that I think is a fantastic, you know, fantastic platform and fantastic, you know, the opportunity that we are looking forward to. Well, so, how do you affect adoption inside of the organization? Can you talk about that, what's working, it's, what's... It's always value driven, as you know, right? I mean, the business business has to see the value. It, 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 it was, I mean, I would you know, admit it was not as easy as before, but as the mindsets have started to shift, right? As the people have started to realize the value that you know, the automation brings to you know, the, uh, I mean, you know, not just the, the value for the business, but actually transforming the entire portfolio. Right, and and uh, people have started to see now that not every automation project is going to be transformation product, but for every transformation project, you will find the automation at the heart and the core of it. So I, I think that's what has started to shift the mindset there of, of you know, folks. So how do you know when you have end to end? What are the, <laughs> you, know, you sort of wake up one day and say, wow, we've achieved yeah. it. You know, is it pieces that come together? Uh, yeah. What do you say? Yeah, you know, we want to look at customers from you know from an end-to-end -end perspective. It's not just about piecemealing, finding a problem, solving it. Really, what does it deliver from from an end-to-end -end perspective? Did you actually, you know, because a lot of times companies will say we want to automate X number of processes, and and they do that, and they're like, well, we've automated a lot of processes. We're not sure what value we're getting out of it. It's the yeah. ability to measure. Like, yeah. what impact is this automation having on your business from an operational exactly. metric, but from a business metric as well? But then going back and saying, well, where is the biggest pain point? Where do we have the largest value that we can give to the business back? So one of the things we actually announced today is the ability to take at an, look at an idea and look at what was the estimated benefits of that idea and then map it all the way through execution to say what are we getting. We estimated we were going to save a million dollars by doing this automation, or what have we achieved till now? Have we achieved a million dollars? Have we achieved half a million dollars? Why That's haven't we achieved that? That yeah, never happens. That, <laughs> and, 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 and it's hard to do that. Like the data existed, but it's really hard for people to pull that data out. So yeah. we build out of the box dashboards that give you the ROI bag, yeah, and that's why it's really important to, to make sure that you, know, you look at it not just as a technology project, but more as an investment from a business side, and so you can making a business more efficient. You know, I, just, I know you were jumping in, but yeah. that's super important, because you know, you run a lot yeah, of projects, yeah, and absolutely. each of those projects has its own ROI, then yeah, you jam yeah. it into the application portfolio, exactly. and then everybody sort of forgets about it, you can't really track what yeah. impact it had, because there's always yeah. you know, some things that are benefits, some things are sometimes a negative, and so it's that holistic picture that uh, you're trying uh, to achieve. Extremely critical point what you hit on, right, right. Um, it's, uh, 
measuring the benefit and measuring the continuous benefit across and not just from start and end, okay, what I promised I delivered or not, yeah. but, but but you have to have this continuous mindset. And, and so I, I think, yeah, definitely, that that's a very, very critical to our finance team and our CFOs. Yeah, there are organic mechanisms. And, you know, it's, it's constantly yeah. evident. Absolutely. Yeah, so Akbar, yeah. global business shared services. When yeah. you think of PepsiCo, yeah. of course people immediately think of sure. Pepsi, but yeah. PepsiCo is a multi-tentacled beast of a company Absolutely. in a good way. Yeah. For organizations that are in that same category, holding yeah. companies, yeah. companies that have all sorts of different entities that are working together under one umbrella. Um, how shareable is this idea of automation and business automation process moving forward? How, how shareable is that on the shareometer? Yeah, yeah. As far, no. as, you, as, far as, you, as far as you're concerned, <laughs> are you are you talking to some people where you're saying, "Hey, I'm here. I'm here from uh, GBS, and yeah, I'm here to yeah. help," and they look at you like you're crazy because you don't understand their business? Or is this something that relatively easily yeah. applies across businesses? That, that no. To your point, I mean, very valid point, right? I mean, uh, it's uh, that's that's the GBS Global Business Shared Services mindset, right? As you move the functional areas into the Pepsi, uh, in, into the PepsiCo GBS, like HR, procurement, uh, commercial sales, supply chain, right? That's where you're going to start to find those, you know, the optimization, you know, opportunity. You're going to start to standardize your processes, and that's where you will, uh, you know, as you transition these processes within the GBS, that's what create those, you know, the opportunities for you. So, what, what, what about automation opportunities? Yeah not in the, I know you're in the shared yeah, arena, yeah. but each of those business units has processes that could probably opti sure. be optimized and automated. Sure. Is that something that's under your purview? We've heard, we've heard a lot about citizen developers. Yeah. I, I don't know if that, if that applies. No, that definitely. I mean, you cannot just have focus on end-to-end -end, you know, automation. I mean, that, that's a huge portfolio for GPS. At the same time, supporting you know automation through the citizen development capability. That that's where once again you know you have provides a lot of capability and solution and tools that we use, right, to continue to empower uh, the folks who are part of our you know GBS team inside or outside GBS, right? It, it, it's I think it's very very critical. It it, it uh, helps people uh, transform their career even. It, in one ways, right? And, and 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 you have that muscle, you have that resource, and you have that power. You definitely want to utilize them. So, so let's talk about metrics for a minute. So, yeah. uh, the more data, the better. Usually, I like data. Yeah. But but if you're trying to optimize for 15 metrics, I feel like sure. you're not going to optimize on any. So, yeah. how do you deal with that from both, as Param was saying, an operational yeah. standpoint and a business standpoint? What are the things about? How do you sort of get the the teams focused on the right things. B business function leadership team uh, drive those alignment for us. As a part of a global business shared services, we, we are hip to hip connected with our uh, business uh, you know functions, right? They they have to help us prioritize those. And, and to your point, I mean, yeah, you cannot attack 15 metrics at once. You have to prioritize. You have to uh, make sure that you bring the focus to the product, you know, project, right? So. So definitely, I mean, it's it's uh, it's not often 15 metrics, but top three metrics. Let's let's focus, let's zoom in, and ensure we're driving it. But then if you think about the system, I mean, the, the, at, yeah. at the end of the day, the P&L manager, he or she cares about EBIT. Let's say. Sure. Okay, but there are so many factors, you know, in that complicated organization yeah. that are going to affect yeah. EBITDA. Yeah. And they're going to be different. Yeah. Uh, yep. But somebody's got to figure out, okay, how do they fit together in a system? Uh, and and can can UiPath help me understand that? those relationships and those dependencies. Absolutely, I mean, I think there's, a, there's an aspect of human relationships and, and making sure that you get the right level of sponsorship from the business and, and there's a business stakeholder and, and looking at every investment and, and outcomes that you're driving based on that. Uh, but, but that is something that we, from a tools perspective, we're trying to make sure that you can measure the value throughout the entire value chain. But then getting the business sponsorship, like where we've seen yeah. Automation scale is always because there's a business sponsor that's essentially saying, Absolutely. "Here's what I'm trying to achieve, yep. and here's the here's my goal, here's a north star, and go get it, and let me know how you're tracking against it." And and our job is to make sure that we can provide the visibility to the people that are operating the the programs um, to make sure they get that level of visibility. What's the scope of automations in your you know organization? Is it dozens, hundreds? Huge. Yeah, huge. <laughs> uh, thousands. <laughs> we are getting there. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
No, definitely. I mean, we have definitely, you know, realized that it's a, it's a core component to our digital transformation, right? So, so there's no, there's no stopping. I mean, there, 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 there's a plenty of support from top down, and you know, it, it's a fantastic time to be at PepsiCo, right? <laughs> especially at the PepsiCo GBS, right? So. Akbar, thanks for sharing your story. Hey, Congratulations absolutely. on all the progress you guys have made. It's actually quite remarkable to see where you guys have come from. So I really appreciate it. Thank absolutely. you, Dave. Thank right. you, Dave. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching. This is Dave Vellante for Dave Nicholson. We are right in the middle of day two at Forward Five from Las Vegas. We're live. We'll be right back.